What I would say for really the care partners is that um, early on, as soon as you know somebody's beginning to show some signs, get them evaluated. Hi, this is Jerry from Touching Hearts at Home here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Today, Linda Heinrich is joining us. She is an amazing expert in Alzheimer's and dementia in our community. She's a wealth of knowledge and I can't wait to hear what she has to say and share with us. So, you know, very um, early in the disease and what I can say, I'm not gonna give the actual uh, stage because that's really difficult. Um, I would say between uh, moderate to severe or in stage is where you're going to see that object recognition go away. Mm. Um, but it could happen earlier. But what happens, our visual processing um, is limited because of the degeneration of mm. all the neurons in our brain. So we, we um, the patient or the person will actually, the brain limits what can come in, what they can accept. Um, so it's not a visual problem. It's really the processing problem. Oh, okay. So they just can't take in um, too much data. If they can mm -hmm. just take in one thing at a time, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they just and over time they lose that that object recognition. Awesome. I mean, not awesome. It's pretty sad, actually. <laughs> I've been. It, doing it some, really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been doing some caregiving, and it just bolsters up my empathy um, and sympathy for for this situation. That's for sure. Any lasting thoughts or takeaways that you want to share with our audience at all? Um, I, most of our clients in Touching Hearts actually have um, dementia or some form of uh, forgetfulness. So, yeah. Um, well, what I would say for really the care partners is that um, early on, as soon as you know somebody's beginning to show some signs, get them evaluated. The North Idaho Memory Clinic is available to provide screening and evaluation. Um, the sooner that you are aware of it, the better outcome for the patient. Yes, it's progressive. Yes, <laughs> it's going to end in death, but we can slow the progression. Mm -hmm. So there are things that can be done. And the other part is having everybody on the same page for end of life care. That is so, so important because when the person cannot really talk for themselves or share that information because of this progression, um, families really struggle with that. Like, when is it time to allow them to go into hospice and stop treating what's going on, you know, whether they have a heart condition or different things? When is it time to just let them pass away? So mm -hmm. understanding that person's feelings before it progresses too far is super important. That was amazing. Thank you, Linda, for such an amazing and just such an amazing discussion about dementia and Alzheimer's. There was some good nuggets in there. I'm definitely going to be sharing that with my team. If you have need for support in your home, please give us a call. We're at touchinghearts.com CDA. Thank you.